What if we tell you that the ruler of all gods in Greek mythology was once almost defeated by a woman, and that too, his own wife? Don't believe us? Well, here's the story. Zeus, the ruler of the gods on Mount Olympus, was married to several women, but his sister Hera was the one he desired to rule with. Every time Zeus proposed marriage, Hera, the goddess of wedlock and childbirth and ruler of the skies, answered no. She had no interest in the proposal because she was all too aware of Zeus's background. For hundreds of years, Hera rejected every proposal that Zeus made to her, but he persisted quite a lot and eventually devised a scheme to deceive Hera into becoming his wife. He changed himself into a helpless, drenched bird because of his superhuman transformation abilities. The unfortunate bird was discovered by Hera, who took care of it and carried it to safety. Call it reverse Stockholm Syndrome or what, but Hera couldn't help but fall in love with Zeus when he returned back to his normal state and finally she consented to become his wife. This led to the start of a violent cycle of passion, adultery, jealousy, and retaliation that would serve as the foundation of their marriage. Undoubtedly, their honeymoon period was brief, and Zeus's philandering behavior was to blame for the couple's troubled relationship. For him, no woman was off bounds. He had several relationships with nymphs, humans, and goddesses, and this behavior of his transformed Hera into an envious, vindictive wife who would spend all of her time on Mount Olympus spying on her husband and hatching retaliation plans against his lovers. Interestingly, she was not just angry with Zeus, she was also angry about the children he had with other women. Here are a few stories of Zeus's illicit encounters. Callisto and Zeus The nymph Callisto accompanied the goddess Artemis in her hunts. One day, she was seduced by Zeus, became pregnant. Hera became enraged when she learned of it and turned Callisto into a bear, so Artemis would kill her as part of her hunting exercise. But Zeus stepped in and dispatched Hermes to protect the infant in her womb. Finally, to save them from his wife's fury, he turned both mother and child into a constellation of stars. Io and Zeus Another woman Zeus fell in love with was Io. She was a stunning mortal girl at the time, and she resided in Argos. Zeus fell in love with her at first sight. In order to lure the little girl, he disguised himself as a cloud. When Hera learned of this, Io was put through a lot of pain by her. She transformed the young mortal into a cow in order to keep her away from her husband and dispatched a gadfly to continually sting her, as if that weren't enough. Alcmene and Zeus. This pretty laid was Amphitryon's mortal wife in Greek mythology. Zeus once took the identity of Amphitryon to get into her bed while her husband was fighting the Taphians and the Teleboans. The demigod named Heracles was born as a consequence of their marriage. Zeus made a mighty declaration that the kid who would be born on that specific day would govern Mycenae as Alcmene went into labor. When Hera learned that Zeus had betrayed their marriage once more, she became enraged. She gave the goddess of childbirth, Elithia, the order to postpone Alcmene's delivery for seven days in order to persuade the wife of Sthenelus to give birth early, two months before her due date. Eventually, the son of Sthenelus went on to dominate Mycenae, but that didn't stop her from harassing Heracles nonstop because he was a reminder of Zeus's adultery. We can say that she was determined to destroy him, and she utilized her cleverness to come up with a strategy rather than using a weapon to kill Heracles. She dispatched snakes to kill him as he dozed off in his cradle when he was first born. When Heracles woke up and saw the serpents, he seized them and killed them right away, which demonstrated his superhuman power for the first time. Later, when he grew up, Hera made another effort to kill him. She cursed Heracles with lunacy since he had wed Megara and fathered an offspring with her. Heracles killed his wife and children as a result of this insanity. After this, Apollo informed Heracles that in order to put things right, he must go to kill King Aristheus and serve him. He did so and was then ordered by King Aristheus to fulfill 12 seemingly difficult tasks. But the catch here is that Hera was the reason King Aristheus gave Heracles 12 impossible duties, and Heracles was oblivious to this. Hera even contributed to his efforts to finish the labors by creating problems and making them harder than they previously were. But in the marriage of the two, jealousy wasn't limited to simply Hera. Zeus once discovered that Ixion, the Lapith monarch, was woo 
following Hera and deceived him into having a relationship with a cloud. So, he was punished by Zeus by being cast into the underworld, where he would spend all of his eternity chained to a spinning wheel of fire. Zeus's roving grace didn't deter Hera, who remained steadfastly devoted to him. The majority of her time was devoted to punishing Zeus's targets, even though she had plenty of chances to cheat on him. Now note that Hera was not flawless too, just as Zeus was not the devoted spouse he ought to have been. Her disloyalty was manifested in her desire to rule over Zeus and her creation of a strategy to achieve so. In this aspiration, she made the decision to drug Zeus and made him fall asleep in order to dethrone him. But the gods bound Zeus to his throne after he fell asleep. Zeus was furious when he woke up and started arguing with the gods who had shackled him to the throne. And them, Aegeon, another name for Briareus, who was a monster with 50 heads and 100 arms, heard the arguments and came to aid Zeus. But he too was able to unravel the knots that the gods had fastened on Zeus's throne. Zeus threatened to kill the gods who had chained him after breaking free by grabbing his famous weapon, the Thunderbolt. Upon being freed, however, Zeus was merciful to the gods who pleaded for compassion. But Hera was not so lucky. He kidnapped Hera and hanged her in the skies with golden chains as red retribution for her attempt to overthrow him. All night long, Hera cried out in agony, but no one intervened for fear of offending Zeus. Zeus contacted Hera the following morning after a restless night and offered to free her from her bonds in exchange for her word that she would never oppose him. Hera grudgingly consented to be freed from the bonds, but she persisted in using her cleverness against Zeus whenever she had the chance. And that was the twisted love story of Zeus and Hera. Let us know your thoughts on it down in the comments below. Also, if you enjoyed watching this video, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button so you can stay updated on our future uploads. We'll see you next time with another one. Until then, stay mythically mad.